Hey everybody, it's Dr. Papillon here, and this is another cast video in my cast series of the making a sim for every aspiration in the game. I decided that I'm not gonna do a single sim every time. It kind of made sense for Joy, the friend of the world, to be alone because, you know, she has to make friends to get her aspiration. But I decided to make the two love aspirations a married couple, so here we've got Romeo and Giselle? I think is her name? I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but um, they're married, and Romeo, that's the first randomized first name that came up, which, it, it was pretty spectacular that it worked out that way, because it's like, man, that's a perfect name for him. He's the um, serial romantic, and then Giselle, or whatever her name is, she's the soulmate. So, I kind of feel like it might be fun to play them and have like these two conflicting values of like forever love and uh, fleeting love together. Probably never gonna actually play them, but who knows. Um, I kind of made Romeo a little bit of a playboy by his outfits, because it kind of fits to me. I was like imagining like what would a Casanova Don Lothario look like if I were to make him, but also off of this random sim that I generated because I cannot come with sims on my own. I I just use randomly generated ones and then I make them over, basically. Um, when Giselle pops up, I really enjoyed how she looked because it was she had like this farmer vibe going on, and it's like, yeah, I like a cute little farmer girl wants to find true love. That makes sense to me. <laughs> oh, I just saw that Romeo had his little love heart underwear. That was, that was a cute touch, in my opinion. That wasn't a love heart. It was a kiss on his butt. Okay. But, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna be moving through some of the aspirations soon. But I also had an idea for a Let's Play challenge thing that I'm going to be doing based on some rules that I found. I'm not going to, like, announce it yet, because who knows when I'm actually going to be able to, like, record that part. I've also got- I've got a lot of ideas. I've got a lot of ideas for starting this channel. I've got a, this cast series, which is fun, easy to make for the most part. Photoshopping the thumbnail for this was a work because I I took screenshots of the two characters apart and I um I didn't photoshop them together. I used GIMP to meld the two images, but I also cut out around the sims. And I did a really bad job cutting around, but like hopefully it's not going to be able to tell from a small thumbnail. And then I changed the background to be a gradient and added text of course. Just saying, I feel like in the last three days, my photo editing has gotten a lot better. I don't think my video editing has gotten all that much better. I don't think it's changed all that much, but you know, it's okay. I will say that this cast video is a lot better because um, the last cast video, the footage I got was warped and it just kept skipping a lot, so... I went back into Create a Sim, undoed everything that I did onto Joy, and then clicked the redo button until she was done again. And I just recorded doing that. Which is a type of like speed build for houses, but it's not really a thing when it comes to Create a Sim. But um that's that was a little bit frustrating yesterday that I thought I had made a really good video. And then it turns out the footage was awful. Here, making her little cute farmer outfit. I didn't even change the original outfit that they gave her. I just updated it. I changed her hair, because I had an idea what I wanted to do with her hair. I changed the boots, because the rain boots didn't quite fit, and I wanted a different pair of rain boots. I also kind of liked how curvy... Um, I think her name is Giselle. I'm just gonna keep calling her Giselle and hope it's gonna be right. I really liked how curvy she is, because it's like, oh, she's she's kinda cute and plump. She's just 
you imagine that this is the girl that's wanted her entire life to have a beautiful family and the love of her life and all that. And then she's married to an awful man who just plans on cheating on her. It's a little bit sad. It makes you really sympathetic of her. I also made her two formal outfits and I gave her a wedding dress for one of them. Technically the Sims are already married in the game, but I still kind of wanted to imagine that she would still have a beautiful wedding dress picked out for her to wear, you know? Even if she's already worn it. Oh, she's really pretty. I also, um, I, I've been taking my sim screenshots for the thumbnails and like, man, I really, I really like looking at them like this. Cause I, before the sim I uploaded yesterday, Joy, the friend of the world, I had not taken any like sim screenshots in cast before. And like now it's like, man, I'm not sure if I can go back whenever I'm making sims because they're just so cute. Of course, I guess I won't take them if I'm only uploading them to the gallery and not recording them, or if I'm just making them for me, but they're just, they're really precious pictures of The Sims, you'll get to see them. You actually have already seen the thumbnail probably, and that has pictures of them, which is nice. Still got a decent amount of video to go. Oh. And now I don't know where I am. Oops. Um. How long do I have to record for? About 8 minutes and 12 seconds? Okay. I'll just keep an eye out for that. But, um. I'm actually kind of enjoying this Friend of the World one. I'm not sure which Aspiration. Friend of the World. Um, Aspiration series. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do next. I'm kind of tempted to make a family of three vampires and get the vampire thing out of the way. But maybe that's just me. But, um... I'm guessing it's getting to the end of the uh, video, so I'm going to sign out. This is Dr. Papillon, D-R underscore P-A-P-I-L-L-O-N. You can follow me on Origin, Twitter, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, comment, like. Let me know what aspiration you want to see next, because... I think I might do the vampires, but I'll do whatever anyone tells me to do first. See you next time.